Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato on today's Everything Music. It's What Makes This Song Great, episode 51. The artist is The Beatles, and the song is, you'll find out in a minute. I have a special guest with me. This is Mr. Tim Smith, who is a very old and dear friend of mine. Tim was the bass player in Jellyfish. He also played with Sheryl Crow, and lastly with... Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds. <laughs> So I needed Tim's help for the episode. Now, there's a possibility that this video will get blocked because as we know, the Beatles are blockers, but hopefully it won't. It's coming up next. So the song we're gonna to attempt to do today is called The End. It happens to be the last song Actually, almost the last song on Abbey Road. Tim, what was the last song? Her Majesty, right? Her Majesty. It was recorded between three different studios, EMI, Trident, and Abbey Road, and was produced by George Martin, who produced pretty much all of the Beatles' records. One thing we need to contest with with this track is that it's a quarter step high. So I've got to create a bed track, the piano I'm going to start with, and pitch change it up a quarter step so it matches with the track. And then Tim can sing along with the actual Beatles track while we start to replace all the parts. You're not going to hear any of the Beatles. You're going to hear Tim along with my piano part and then the string part that I've done, uh, a little bit of it, and then the drums. So let's check that out first. Next, I'm going to track the two little guitar fills that are hard pan left and right. Here's the first one. And in the end, the love you take is Here's the answer part on the left side. Next, we're going to track the string part. I'm using Spitfire Audio strings for this, the Albion strings. Uh, it begins with a 2-5 in the key of C major. So it goes D minor. It's really D minor 7 to G major, then to C, to C major. It starts with that walking line that goes like this. And it walks right down to the third. And then we have C major. And then we have D major over C, which is an incredible lift. And then it's E flat major over C, which is C minor seven, and then F major over C, and then it ends up beautifully on a straight C major chord. So I'm gonna play along with the track right now. Next, we're going to record the brass. The brass is going to start up, same thing with C major, then D major over C, same progression, E flat over C, F major over C, and then it ends with that high C major chord with the G on top. I'm going to play along with it. Let's check it out. Next, we're going to track Tim's low harmony part. The love you take is equal to the love you make. Okay, now the high harmony.
Let's take a listen to all the harmony parts together. The love you take is equal to the love you make. Here's my favorite part. Uh, so what you have in the harmony part on top of the D over C chord is an F sharp diminished triad. Uh, really what it is is just a D7 over C and it just adds so much power to the, especially to the guitar solo. It's just beautiful under it. So we saved the best for last, the guitar solo. This is my favorite guitar solo. I think it's one of the greatest guitar solos of all time, if not the greatest. This is George Harrison. He actually plays two of the best guitar solos ever on the same record, Abbey Road. The first is the solo from Something, and then the other one is this solo. And I'll tell you what's great about this solo. Let me play it first. Here we go. You so what's great about this, he starts on the third of the chord, the C major, right? And then he goes right up the C major arpeggio. Bends up to the third, and then, then he bends into the fifth of the D over C chord, which is perfect. And then he does a little rake up and he's going up E flat major because it's E flat major over C, which is really C minor seven. And he comes right down an F major chord, like he's playing jazz, really. And then he bends from the th third to the fifth of the C major chord. Okay, let's listen down to the whole track. I really think that this song is a perfect song. It's about 52 seconds long, but it's 52 seconds of perfection. It uses every great thing about the Beatles. Incredible harmonies, a, a really melodic guitar solo, a great lyric, and in the end, the love you make is equal to the love you take. Just one of McCartney's best lyrics. And... It's just so fitting that it was the, this was really the end of the Beatles. The Beatles ended with the end, with a 50 second perfect pop song. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. I'd like to thank Tim Smith for being my special guest today. You can check out the band Uma Jets, which was the band that Tim and I were in, I guess, over 20 years ago, about 22 years ago, the record is actually on iTunes, and it's a great record. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.